So uh, first we'll just have a quick look. I mean that is an error 1106 which technically in my book is not really an error. It just can't find the native driver so it's going to default back to the UPD. Let's just have a look if I've got any uh, just going to filter on event ID 11.16 ah so I do have a few and you can see from the text that it's the add printer call in this particular instance and you're actually given a little bit of information you're given that status uh, obviously a hex code 3EB there's about four I think and you can search for this on Citrix and I think it varies from uh, what have I had in the past yeah if you've not the Citrix uh, print manager user that runs that service let's just have a quick look at him while we while we're in there and looking at it so we're on one and let's have a look at services first thing to point out let's let's stay with the Citrix first thing to point out is this depends well okay it depends on the remote procedure call but if the spool is not up then the print manager sir the Citrix print manager service is not going to be up either so sometimes this particular user which has kind of a power user right but it has the absolute minimum rights to be able to print and basically load I think a device driver um, basically to do the auto creation method so sometimes that doesn't have um, enough access so I've, I've cloned Citrix servers in the past admittedly I don't do that anymore and the cloning process somehow interrupted the uh, permissions or uh, user rights for that particular user so you can actually recreate it in a special way but there's little utility that you can use to recreate the uh, print manager uh, that's probably the simplest uh, occasionally if you want to promote the rights of that user let's just have a quick look on uh, let's say it was on this particular server and see if we can find that user it is so occasionally just for troubleshooting purposes I'm you see it's a power user and I might just make that a uh, interesting why is it not coming up with a local admin perhaps I have to put uh, good work Anyway, I would uh, check name. <laughs> Didn't come up with anything. I need to do that properly next time. So I would make that uh, a member of the local administrators. Obviously, I could do it the other way around when I think about it. <laughs> Simpler to go into there and then add it from here. So basically, I promote it from power user to local admin. And if for some reason that uh, error. 1116 went away I know the permissions were incorrect I know that's the reason so I'd probably recreate it rather than mess about with the permissions let's go back to the uh, where are we on the application log I can't remember which one we were on maybe we we're on the first one okay so you can tell a little bit from that uh, little hex code and obviously you do the appropriate fix 